Good morning! Welcome to Upstreet Online! This is your Karil. Thanks for joining us today! And oh! Before I forget, shout out to those kids who participated in our My Healthy Play project. We are always encouraged every time we see your healthy place. Now, it's time for fun game! We already know that the month of July is Nutrition Month. In relation to that, I am going to introduce to you a vegetable song entitled Bahai Kubo. So let's go and listen to the song. Our game this morning is called Guess What's Next? Using the Bahai Kuku song that we have just listened to, I want you to try and guess the missing vegetable. Do you get it? Great! Now let's begin! Is it A. Kalabasa or B. Mustasa? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up! The correct answer is letter A. Kalabasa! Did you get it right? I hope you did because we are now down to our third missing vegetable. Is it A. Mustasa or is it B. Sibuyas? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. The correct answer is letter A. Mustasa. At saka mayroon pa. Labanos mustasa. Sibuyas kamatis. Paligid, ligid, ay puno ng mga. Now that's it for our game this morning. It is now time for us to dance and sing for the Lord. It's worship time! Goodbye!
Today, I want to tell you a story about some people who saw a need and help big time, really help them. And you could read about these people from the Bible. Are you ready? Okay. So there was a very big field full of harvesters and the harvesters were getting gathering grain. Grain is used to make bread so that people could eat. Well, one day, the owner of this very big field, a guy named Boaz, decided to come and visit his big field and his workers. So while Boaz was visiting there, he saw a woman that he has never seen before. And she was gathering grains too in his own field. So Boaz asked one of his workers who the woman is. And the worker said that the woman is named Ruth and Ruth is a new girl in town living together with her mother-in-law named Naomi. Now, in the field, you can't find Naomi there because Naomi is already a very old woman. So, because Naomi is a very old woman already, Ruth decided to go out on her own to work in the fields to gather grain. When Boaz learned that about Ruth, Boaz asked Ruth to come over and told her. This is what Boaz told Ruth. Ruth, you could come here and gather grain as much as you wanted. Okay, wait a minute. Let's pause. Boaz just basically told Ruth to come in his own field to get food as much as she wanted. Can you find a person like that these days? Like saying, hey, you want food? Come here, I'll give you some food. That is such a nice thing to do. He's very kind, very helpful. So then on, Ruth continued to gather food in a place that she felt welcomed. In a place where she could get more than she expected to get. Because Boaz, until then on, Boaz continued to help support Ruth all throughout the harvest season. Isn't that amazing? Okay, what we can learn from this story is that first, Ruth is a game changer. Ruth saw a need of food on the table. So that's why she decided to go out in the field to gather green so that her and her mother Elena Yumi could have food on the table. Boaz was a game changer too because without Boaz, well, Ruth couldn't actually get food that she needed. The food that she needed for her and Naomi. Both Ruth and Boaz understood that good friends look for ways to help. Okay, I will say it again. Good friends look for ways to help. Later on in your small group time, Ate Kate will talk more about that. So for now, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for the example of Ruth and Boaz. Thank you, Lord God, for teaching us to help when there is a need. Help us to be always watching so that we can always see the need and we will, able, we will be able to help. We love you. Amen. So, that's it for now and see you in small group. Hi kids, this is Adi Welcome to our small group. And today will be very exciting because we will have an activity today. So, for this activity, it helps you learn how to look for ways to help your friends or other people. So I will give you three scenarios and I will give you two options in what way you can do to help other people. So are you ready? So for our first scenario, your little brother spills his drink all over the counter. What can you do to help? Will you give him a paper towel or a trash bag? You choose. That's right kids, a paper towel. And that way you help your little brother clean up the spill drink. So, for a second scenario, 
your friend can find his pencil. And the quiz is about to start. What can you do to help? Give him a pencil or a snack. You choose. Okay kids, correct answer is pencil. And in that way, you help your friend take the quiz instead taking the snack and go to recess first. So, for a third scenario, are you ready? So for our last scenario, your friend falls off his bike and scrapes his knee. So what can you do to help? Will you give him a band-aid or a bowl of soup? You choose. Okay, correct answer is a band-aid. So in that way, you help your friend cover the wound on his knee. So that's great kids, good job for today. And I hope you learned something um, for our small group. So that activity is really great exercise for us to look for ways to help our friends, our family, and other people. So for our bottom line for today, always remember that good friends look for ways to help. Again, good friends look for ways to help. So thank you so much kids for your time and I hope you see I hope you'll see each other next Sunday, okay? You take care. Bye-bye.